Well, when you think of winter, you might think of snow and cold. I bet the last thing to come to mind is tornadoes. Meteorologist Chris Nelson explains. Winter tornadoes might be rare, but they're not unheard of. Since 1844, Wisconsin has seen nine tornadoes in November, six in December, three in January, and 18 in March. February stands alone as the only month Wisconsin has never seen a tornado. Nearly eight years ago, two tornadoes struck southeastern Wisconsin on November 22, 2010. An EF-1 tornado hit the Union Grove community, which caused damage to numerous homes and drew an 11.5 mile tornado track. Another tornado produced an EF-1 tornado near the village of Walworth. Some livestock was killed and the tornado danced for almost five miles. There's a tornado on the ground in the backyard of my house. If a tornado in November doesn't surprise you, I bet severe weather in January will. January 7, 2008 featured the warmest January day in Milwaukee on record with a high of 63. It also spawned two tornadoes in Walworth and Kenosha counties. The stronger of the two grew to an EF3 with winds over 150 miles an hour. With well, that tornado went to our neighborhood and there's a house on fire, the neighborhood is upside down. Oh my God, my trailer's gone. How can we get tornadoes in winter? Well, it all comes down to the placement of the jet stream, ample gulf moisture, instability, and wind shear during the winter months. The southern states usually see the collision of warm, humid air with the polar jet. If these conditions can retreat north, which is not a normal occurrence, the stage can be set for wild, wild activity. That's why it's so important to always have a severe weather plan for every season. <laughs> Chief Meteorologist Drew Burgoyne and I are busy during the school year with our program, Tornado Ready. This CBS 58 Ready Weather Interactive Program teaches students about severe weather, the importance of having a plan, and taking that plan home and educating family members. We visited over 40 schools and almost 10,000 students last year alone. So even if you're running that snowblower or using that ice scraper, never let your guard down because severe weather can strike any time of the year.